Howdy, this is Bill Bard with another edition of Quick Glance video from the Applications Lab. Today's subject, Multisizer 4. The purpose of the Quick Glance videos are going to be some quick, hard-hitting information to help you be successful. So, number one, warm the system up for a minimum of 30 minutes. Make sure it's good and stable. Two, you want to make sure you run a clean sample vessel and also clean isotone. Three, you're going to want to run the Aperture Tube Wizard which is resident under the run option within the software. You want to run this for, for many reasons. Number one, it's going to fill the system properly. Two, it's going to adjust the metering pumps, make sure your flow is accurate. Three, it's going to make sure your current and your gains are set properly. Four, it's going to make sure the noise that's measured is proper so that the, the higher the noise, the less sensitive the instrument can be. So it's a very critical piece of information for you. It should be around 2% or so. The last element of the Aperture Tube Wizard that is run is the Aperture Tube Calibration. When you run this, you're going to run this with a control standard that is somewhere between 2 and 60% of the physical size of the aperture. When you open up the standard, you're going to find an assay sheet. The assay sheet is going to conclude three pieces of vital information. Number one, product description. Number two, you're going to have a calibration instructions and number three you're going to have calibration data from which to compare your result to to ensure that the instrument is reading properly. At the end of this video you will have a list of the control standards that are appropriate for running on the Multisizer 4. This concludes another edition of Quick Glance videos from the Applications Lab. I am and shall remain Bill Bars reporting. Good day.